Hello friends, welcome to my lecture on uh, symbolic representation of statements. There will be two lectures on this topic and this is one of those two lectures. First we define what we mean by a sentence. A number of words making a complete grammatical structure having a sense and meaning and also meant an assertion in logic or mathematics is called a sentence. This assertion may be of two types declarative and non-declarative. A proposition or a statement is a declarative sentence that is either true or false. For example, uh, let us consider uh, the question 3 plus 3 equal to 6. It is a declarative sentence and its truth value is true. It is a true uh, uh, result. Then the next equation let us consider 3 plus 3 equal to 7. It is a declarative sentence again, but 3 plus 3 is not equal to 7. So, it is its truth value is false. Paris is in England, the truth value is false. Blood is red, the truth value is true. So, where the truth value is defined as the truth or falsity of a statement. We know that blood is red is a uh, true statement, so the truth value is true. Paris is in England is a false statement, so its truth value is false. Uh, let us now uh, consider some more uh, uh, examples. Where are you going? It is an interrogative uh, sentence, so it is not a statement. X plus y greater than 1, it is not a statement because for some values of x and y, the statement is true while for others it is not true. May God help you, it is a wish. So, it is not a statement. 4 minus x equal to 8, it is a declarative sentence, but it is not a statement because the uh, it is true or false depends on the value of x. Now, let us define proposition variable. It is customary to represent simple statements by letters p, q, r known as propositional variables. Propositional variables can assume only two values true or false. There are also two propositional constants and they are t and f. They represent true and false respectively. If p denote the proposition the capital of up is agra then instead of saying the proposition the capital of up is agra is false we say that simply say that the value of p is f. P denotes the statement the capital of UP is Agra. It is a false statement, so we say that the value of P is F. Compound proposition A proposition obtained from the combinations of two or more propositions by means of logical connectives or logical operators of two or more, more propositions or by negating a single proposition is called a molecular or compound or composite proposition. Let us look at the uh, symbols and phrases which are used to form compound propositions. They are called connectives. The following symbols are used to represent connectives. Symbol used. If when we use this symbol, okay, it is not. We can also use this symbol. It is not. When we use these symbols, it means not. Nature of compound statement formed by the connective negation. Symbolic form not p okay negation of negation of p is equal to p and then this symbol is used for the connective word and okay and it is a conjunction nature of compound statement formed by the connective is conjunction and we write symbolically p and q now negation of p and q is negation of not p or not q and this symbol is used for or connective word or and the nature of compound statement found by the connective is disjunction. Okay. Symbolic form is P or Q, negation of P or Q is not P and not Q. Now, this is implies, implies can also be written like this. Now, it means connective words are if then and the nature of compound statement found by the connective is implication are conditional. So, symbolic form is P implies Q okay. and negation of P implies Q is P and not Q. 
P and not Q. Okay. Now, this is implies and implied by and connective words are if and only if nature of compound statement is equivalence or biconditional. Symbolic form is P implies and implied by Q and negation of P implies and implied by Q is P and not Q or Q and not P as we shall see uh, later in this lecture. Now, if P is any proposition okay, the negation of P is denoted by not P. So, we can use this symbol or we can also use this symbol for not P and read as not P is a proposition which is false when P is true. So, not P means if P is true then not P is false and if P is, uh, is false then not P is true. For example, consider the statement P Paris is in France. Okay. The negation of P is the statement not P okay. and not P will then uh, uh, state Paris is not in France. Okay. The negation of the proposition Q let us say the proposition Q is no student is intelligent. Okay. Then not Q means some students are intelligent. Now, let us see the truth table of P and Q. Okay. This statement P if it is true okay, then uh, not P, okay, not P will be F and then if P is uh, false then not P will be true. Okay. So, this is the truth table for uh, not P. Conjunction if P and Q are two statements then conjunction of P and Q conjunction of P and Q is the compound statement denoted by P and Q and read as P and Q the compound statement P and Q is true when both P and Q are true. Okay. When both P and Q are true otherwise it is false the truth value of P and Q is uh, are given in the following truth table. So, you can see uh, the statement P if it is true Q may also be true. Okay. So, we have T T and T T when we have then uh, P and Q is true okay. because we have said here the compound statement P and Q is true when both P and Q are true okay. otherwise it is false. Now, if the statement P is true and Q is false then P and Q is false if the statement P is false the statement Q is true then the statement P and Q compound statement P and Q is false if P is false Q is false then again the conjunction of P and Q okay. P and Q is false disjunction if P and Q are two statements the, dis, the, the disjunction of the dis, disjunction of P and Q is the compound statement denoted by P R Q okay, and denote read, read as P R Q the statement P R Q is true if at least one of P R Q is true. Okay. The statement P R Q is true if at least one of P R Q is true the truth values of P R Q are given in the truth table given below. So, if P is true and Q is true then P R Q is true, if P is true Q is false then P and R Q is true, if P is false Q is true then P R Q is true, if P is false Q is false then P R Q is false. Okay, so, let us construct a truth table for the uh, compound propositions 1 given by P and not P, P and not Q or Q and the second one is not P or Q or not P and not Q. Okay. Let us first write the truth table for the first compound proposition. Okay. So, P and Q the truth values of P and Q are uh, of the types T T, T F, F T, F F. Now, let us write the uh, truth values for negation of Q. Okay. So, negation of Q uh, the truth values are for T it is F for f it is t for t it is f for f it is t then negation of q or q okay negation of q or q so negation of uh, q or q gives for f and t t for t and f t for f and t t for t and f t okay so all of them are uh, t now then we write the uh, truth values for the compound proposition p or p and not Q or Q. Okay. So, let us consider this one P and this one uh, not Q or Q. Okay. So, T and T T. Okay. 
So, T and T again T ok. Now, F and T F ok and F and T F. So, the truth values for the compound proposition P and not Q or Q R T T F F. Let us go to the next uh, compound proposition ok. So, now we will write the truth uh, values for uh, not P uh, or Q and not P and not Q ok. Uh, let us first write this. So, the truth values of P Q R T T T F F T F F then P or Q P or Q will have uh, truth values T T T and F ok for these four cases and then not of P or Q negation of P or Q will give for T it is F for T it is F for T it is F for F it is T ok. Now, negation of P negation of P when P is T ok negation of P gives F when it is T again it is F when it is F it is T when F it is T ok negation of Q. Now, for T it is F for F it is T for T it is F for F it is T then we can uh, consider the compound proposition negation of P and negation of Q. So, for F F it is F for F T it is F for T F it is F for T T it is T and then we consider negation of P uh, R Q negation of P R Q we have found ok negation of P R Q is here and then we consider uh, or negation of P and negation of Q negation of P and negation of Q uh, uh, value truth values are here. So, we can uh, now uh, consider uh, negation of P R Q or negation of P and negation of Q. So, we just consider this column and this column this column and this column. Now, F F ok. So, when you have a R here F F gives F ok and then F F gives F and then F F gives F ok and T T gives T. So, these are the truth values for the compound proposition uh, negation of P or Q and uh, or negation of P and negation of Q ok. Now, conditional uh, proposition ok. If P and Q are two propositions the compound proposition if P then Q denoted by P implies Q is called conditional proposition or implication conditional proposition or implication and the connective is the conditional connective ok. So, the proposition P is called the antecedent the proposition P is called the antecedent or hypothesis and the proposition Q is called the consequence or conclusion ok. For example, consider this uh, statement if it rains then I will carry an umbrella ok if it rains then I will carry an umbrella. So, here if P denotes it rains ok P will be an antecedent ok I will carry an umbrella if Q denotes I will carry an umbrella then Q is consequence or conclusion. Let us write the truth table for this case ok. So, let us say P Q have truth values T T, T F, F T, F F then P implies Q ok the conditional connective P implies Q ok. Here for T T we will have T, T F ok is F, F T it is T, F F it is T that means only in the case where P is true Q is false. P implies Q ok is F ok otherwise it is always true ok. So, when the statement uh, P is true and Q is false the truth value of P implies Q is F otherwise it is always true ok. Note that the only circumstances we have written, written this uh, statement here note that the only circumstances under which the imply, uh, implication P implies Q is false are when P is true and Q is false. Example construct a truth table for the following implications let us construct a truth table for uh, this implication ok. P or not Q implies P ok. So, the truth values of P and Q are T T, T F, F T, F F then not Q, not Q will have truth values F this will be T, this will be F, this will be T ok and then we have compound proposition P or not Q. So, P or not Q, 
p has value truth value t not q has truth value f so t or f gives t okay then t or t gives t then f or f gives f and f or t gives t okay and here uh, now we write the implication and we have seen that if p is true q is false then p implies q the truth value of p implies q is false otherwise it is always true okay so here uh, p or q p or not q the truth value is t okay and the truth value of p is also t okay so this means p or not q implies p will have truth value t okay now here the truth value is t here the truth value is t again truth value here will be t okay now here truth value is f here truth value is f so the truth value of this implication will be t here truth value is t now you can see uh, let us look let us look at this the only circumstances under which the implication p implies q is false are when p is true and q is false so here p or not q is true while p is false and therefore uh, the implication p or not q implies p is false okay so the, uh, the truth values of uh, the implication p or not q implies p are t t t and f now let us go to the uh, second uh, implication not p and q or r implies not p so let us form the truth table for that okay so the now here we have th three statements p q and r okay so p q and r can have uh, 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 true or uh, false values okay false statements they may be false true or false statements so their uh, truth values are t t t there are will be uh, uh, eight cases okay for the three statements p q r so there will be t t t t f t f t f f f f t t f t f f f t t f f t there are four uh, there are eight cases when p q r three statements are involved okay so the tr truth values of the uh, case p uh, and q okay truth values of p and q r now p and q t t will give you t t f will give you f f t will give you f f f will give you f t t will give t t f will give f f t will give f f f will give f okay now negation of p and q negation is easy you can just write for t you can write f for f you can write t so t gives gives f f gives t then here t here t here f here t here t and here t okay now negation of p and q or r okay so we have to combine this one and this okay so when it is f it is t okay negation of p and q or t or r gives t okay then here it is t here it is t so we get t here here it is t here it is f so we get t again and then here t here f we get t again f f gives f t f gives t and then t t gives t and then we have here t and t again we get t okay now negation of p negation of p for t we get f this t gives f this f gives t this f gives t this t gives f this t gives f for f we have t here for f we have t here okay so now negation of p and q or r we have the truth values of this this and we also have the truth values of negation of p okay so we can now write the truth values for the implication negation of p and q or r implies negation of p okay so when it is true here it is false so we'll have f here okay it is true it is false so we'll have f here but here it is true here it is true so we have true and here it is true here it is true so we have true again f f gives t t f gives f okay so whenever uh, uh, negation of p uh, and uh, q or r implies negation of p we have if this is uh, true and this is false the truth value will be false okay so now negation of uh, p and q or r is if it is true and negation of p is true the implication will give t and here again t we have here again t we have so we get t here so these are the uh, truth values of uh, this implication 
now logical equivalence if two propositions say p whose uh, truth values are p given by p q and so no if we have two propositions p which are denoted by the uh, propositional variables p q and so on and another proposition let us say q is denoted by the uh, 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 propositional symbols uh, propositional variables p q and so on where p q are propositional variables they, they have the same truth values if two propositions have the same truth values in every possible case the propositions are called logically equivalent and denoted by p equivalent to q ok. So, logical equivalence uh, means two uh, propositions p and q will be logically equivalent if their truth values are same in every possible case. Uh, for example, let us look at this uh, this example. So, negation of negation of p and q is logically equivalent to p or negation of q let us prove this ok. So, let us form the truth table for this case. So, p q uh, may have these following four cases t t t f f t f f negation of p gives uh, for t f here again f here t here t ok negation of q gives for t f this one is t this is f this is t ok. Then negation of p and q. So, let us consider this column and this column. So, uh, negation of p and q. So, f t ok means f here f f means f t t means t and t f means f ok. Now, negation of negation of p and q. So, negation of this uh, 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 truth values negation of these truth values will be for f we write t and for f we write t for t we write f for f we write t. Then let us find the truth values for p or not q ok. So, we consider this column p and not q p and p or not q ok. So, t f means uh, p or not q gives t ok then t uh, and t or t ok gives t then f or f gives f then f or t gives t. So, these are the truth values t t f t and you can now see the truth values for this negation of negation of p and q they are t t f t ok. So, in every case ok let us look at the first case where p and q have truth values t t we have the truth values of uh, uh, negation of negation of p and q as t p or negation of q it also has truth value t and then in the second case when p is t q is f again we can see truth values of uh, this uh, uh, proposition and this proposition are same truth values in the third case are again same fourth case they are again same. So, truth values of negation of negation of p and q and uh, p or negation of q are same in every possible case and therefore, they are logically equivalent. Now, let us go to uh, 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 again uh, uh, explaining this uh, uh, logical equivalence. So, to check whether two propositions p and, p and q are logically equivalent we construct the truth tables for p and q using the same propositional variables. Then in each row then if in each row the truth values of p is same as the truth value of q then we say that p and q are logically equivalent. Algebra of propositions now propositions satisfy various laws these laws accept involution law accept involution law these laws come in pairs we, we call them as dual pairs. The dual is obtained by replacing all t by f the dual is obtained by replacing all t by f and all f by t and replacing uh, and by r and r by end say first we look at idempotent laws ok idempotent laws. So, p r p is logically equivalent to p now this r is replaced by uh, end. So, p and p is equivalent to p. So, this is a logical uh, this, this uh, proposition uh, uh, this um, is uh, uh, I mean uh, dual of this one ok. So, they are come in dual uh, pairs and then associative laws p or q or r is logically equivalent to p r q or r ok. So, this is uh, associative law now we replace r by end. So, p and q and r 
is equivalent to P and Q, P and Q and R. Okay, so they, these also come in uh, dual pairs. Okay, commutative loss P R Q is logically equivalent to Q R P, and its dual is P and Q equivalent to Q and P. Then distributive loss P R Q and R is equivalent to P R Q and P R R. Its uh, dual pair is uh, P and Q R R is equivalent to P and Q. Okay, P and Q or P and R. Now identity loss P R F. Okay, P R F is equivalent to P. Then this R is replaced by uh, and F is replaced by T. So its dual is P and T is equivalent to P. And here P R T. Is equivalent to T. Its dual pair is P. Its dual is P and F equivalent to F. Now complement loss P and not P. Okay, P and not P is equivalent to T. Its dual is P and not P is equivalent to F. Okay. Now not P. We know that not negation of T. Negation of T is equivalent to F. Okay. Negation of t is equivalent to f. Then its dual is negation of f is equivalent to t. Okay. Now this is involution law. Okay. So negation of negation of p equal to p. This is uh, there is no dual of this. This accepting involution law. All other laws come in dual pairs. Okay. So negation of p r q is equivalent to negation of p and negation of q. Its dual is negation of p and q equivalent to Negation of p or negation of q. Now, from these laws, we can derive absorption laws. Okay, absorption laws are p r p and q. Okay, p r p and q gives p. Okay, it is equivalent to p. And then p and p r q is equivalent to p. Now, let us prove uh, this absorption law one. Okay, let us prove this absorption law. So, we begin with the proof of The absorption law one. So uh, we have to show that P R P and Q is equivalent to P. Okay. So let us first write P R P and Q. P R P and Q. Okay. Uh, P we can write as P and T. Okay. By the identity law. Okay. So we have P and T here. Okay. P and T here or P and Q. Okay. And uh, this is what uh, P and Uh, T or Q, okay? P and T or Q by the uh, associative law, okay? So and then we have uh, T or Q, okay? T or Q, we can see here. Uh, T or Q, okay? Uh, we have uh, ha T or Q equal to Q. Uh, T or Q equal to T. Let us see that P or T equal to T, okay? So instead of P, we have Q there. So Q R T equal to T. Okay. So Q R T equal to R T R Q equal to T. Okay. Now P and T equal to P. Okay. P and T. Okay. P and T equal to P. So we have P R P and Q equal to P. Similarly, we can prove the second one. Second one is P and P R Q equal to P. Let us prove this. So P and P R Q is is equivalent to now P can be written as P R F okay P R F okay we can use this one P R F equal to P so P R F and P R Q okay now we can use distributive law so this this is equivalent to uh, P R F and Q okay this is equivalent to this by uh, distributive law so now F and Q okay F and Q You can see here, F and P is equal to F. So F and Q equal to F. Okay. So we have P R F. P R F equal to P R P R F. P R F equal to P. So we have here P. Okay. So we can use absorption. Uh, we can prove absorption laws by using the identity laws. Okay. Now Let us prove uh, this uh, distribution law. Let us prove the distribution law, uh, where P R Q and R we have to show is logically equivalent to 
P R Q and P R R. Okay, so the truth values for uh, P Q R they are uh, eight uh, possible uh, combinations: T T T, T T F, T F T, T F F, F T T, F T F, F F T, F F F. Okay, and P R Q. Okay, so we take first column, second column. So P R Q will have truth values T T T, T T T, F F. Okay, and for P R R, P R R. So we take first column and third column. Okay, so when we have T T here, we have T here. When we have T F, we have T here. When we have T T, we have T. T F gives T, and then F T gives T. F F gives F. Okay, F T gives T. F F gives F. So these are the truth values for P R R. And then we can similarly write truth values for Q and R. Q and R gives you. Uh, Uh, Q and R. So for T and T, we get T. T F gives F, and then F T gives F. F F gives F. Okay. T T gives T. T F gives F. F T gives F. F F gives F. So these are the truth values for Q and R. And then we can write the truth values for P R Q and R similarly. Okay. So we consider first column and we consider this column. Okay. So this one is sixth column. so considering first column and sixth column the truth values are uh, q, t t t t t f f f okay and then we can consider the truth values for p r q and q p r r okay so for that we need to consider this column fourth column okay which is p r q and p r r this fifth column okay so from fourth and fifth column the truth values for P R Q and P R R R T T T T T F F F. Now you can see the truth values of P R Q and R. They are these ones. Okay, and they are uh, the truth values for P R Q and P R R. Okay, they are also T T T T T F F F F. Okay, so in every possible case. Okay. we find the truth values of uh, the two sides p r q and r and p r q and p r r to be same okay so they are they are logically equivalent now let us consider consider converse of a proposition contraposition contrapositive uh, proposition and inverse okay so if p uh, implies q is a is an implication then the converse of p implies q Okay, converse of P implies Q uh, is the implication Q implies P. Okay, let us consider the converse of the implication P implies Q. Okay, so P implies Q gives the converse as Q implies P. The contrapositive of P implies Q. Contrapositive of P implies Q is the implication not Q implies not P. That is the contrapositive, and the inverse of P implies Q is not P implies not Q. Okay. so uh, let us now uh, consider the truth tables for these four uh, propositions okay p implies q its converse q implies p contrapositive of p implies q that is not q implies not p and the inverse of p implies q that is not p implies not q so there are four uh, propositions okay so the truth values let us write so p q uh, have truth values T T T F F T F F. Then not P has truth values F F T T. Not Q have truth values F T F T. And then P implies Q. We know that P implies Q is uh, having a, a truth value false only in the case when P is true, Q is false. Otherwise, it is always true. So T F T T. And then we can write truth values for the implication Q implies P. So they are T T F T by the same reasoning. and then we write the truth values for the implication not p implies not q they are t t f t okay and then we write truth values for not q implies not p okay so they are t f t t now you can see a conditional proposition conditional this is conditional proposition okay p implies q and its converse its converse is uh, the case uh, q implies p okay this is converse this converse and uh, uh, not q implies not p that is contrapositive
and uh, this is inverse inverse of p implies q not p implies not q this is inverse. So, the truth values of uh, the conditional proposition they are T f T t the truth values of q implies p are T t f t. Okay. So, p implies q and q implies p they are not logically equivalent. Now, let us look at this uh, p implies q not p implies not q inverse okay, of p implies q the truth values are T t f t. So, they are not same in every possible case, okay. but when you look at the uh, truth values of not q implies not p you see that they are same as the truth values of p implies q. Okay. So, p implies q and uh, it is counter positive not q implies not p they are logically equivalent. Uh, so, we have uh, uh, written here that a conditional proposition and its counter positive are logically equivalent and we use this fact uh, uh, quite often when we prove uh, mathematical theorems uh, uh, using the uh, in order to prove that p implies q we uh, often uh, consider its counter positive that is we show that not q implies not p. So, that is uh, that makes sometimes the proof of the theorem uh, easy. So, with that I would like to end my lecture thank you very much for your attention.